The experience that you get right now is that most of the times the complication of the devices mean that you could watch a movie in the wrong aspect ratio. Right, right, okay? right. So therefore, the consumer... That's why Apple consumer, did, that, is, did so well, because people want it simple. Absolutely. They want they it want to just it, work. They want it simple, and I think simple comes first, quality comes second. Right. But the quality curve always happens, though, mm -hmm. because once you get it simple, the only thing you can it. do is you can differentiate yourself by actually making that quality curve happen. Right. That's where something like what we're doing with Media Director becomes so important. We contain information which describes that content, allows that content to speak to the end device. And, and Media Director device is the software. Is a software. It lives on the content, mm -hmm. and it's a, it's a firmware update to a CE product. And when that content goes into that product, that flat screen display go, instantly goes into the right mode to render that content out. Oh, really? So you're starting on, on that. On you have to actually also on that content side of things to make sure that the two speak. Correctly. We have to because, regardless of how much time we spend making great content and making content better in the future, it can be com all that intent can be completely destroyed by a misaligned setting on the end product in the home. So, so you're taking the controls out of the hands of consumers and just saying, you know what? When you turn on your TV, when you put in this this disc, or when you download, mm -hmm. okay, just make download sure or it stream. still works. Yeah, download I wonder or if that stream. Really, even the software yeah. works even through download. Well, through streaming and and download content, yes. Oh wow! So the product already has to be Media Director enabled. Is this the first generation where you are putting um, the actual software on the content? Itself. This this year started the process in the Star Wars Blu-ray box set, the first commercial product out with Media Director on them. In the download and streaming world, I think we're up to about 12,000 titles now with Roxy on now. All those titles are Media Director enabled. Okay, so now when the products start to hit the store, you subscribe to that service, color, aspect ratio, all the parameters will be automatically adjusted so that you don't have to pick up the remote control and change the aspect ratio. So how many years have you been working on this? At what point was this back in 2004, 2005 when, when the concept first came about where you said, you know what, we, we, we see this trend happening and we need to do something about it. What was that trend and at what point did you decide to do something about it? It was, so the background I have is actually mastering movies. Um, I worked for 20th Century Fox, and we were releasing a movie, a major blockbuster at that time. Um, the director came in, and we went through the entire QC process. I sat with them, and everything checked out finally after a lot of work to make it make it exactly mm -hmm. what he wanted. Uh, and this was back in the this was back uh, like around 1990. Really? Oh yeah. The director looks at me and says, "This is exactly what I want. This is you know this is my sound. This is my picture. This is my canvas." Okay, just like a painter. Will a consumer ever see this? Well, back then we were making VHS tapes. Mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> yes. And so my natural I answer to those. them was no, <laughs> you know, the consumer probably won't see this because we had independent brightness, contrast, color, and tint controls. Right. And it was so, you know, what do you do about that? Well, this is what we're doing right now. We're allowing what the director sees and approves. I mean, we're in a digital world right now. So if we define a pixel in post-production and the director actually approves that, why can't we take that defined pixel, describe it to the end devices and say, these are the modes you need to go into to, to properly render that back out, both picture and sound. There's no excuse for it, and we're doing it. I would imagine that, that you have been working with quite a few manufacturers to, to make mm -hmm. this this happen? Have you faced any resistance at all in terms of integrating the media director into their televisions? You know, I think if we originally put media director out in the earlier days, it would have been a lot more complex than we, what we're facing today. Uh, we can do a firmware update to an existing product and actually make it work. So it's really quite, quite easy. What's important right now is that we manage both the content side and the device side. And so it's been very much been a chicken and egg, you know, type mm -hmm. type of thing. 
um, studios are saying, yeah, they, they've already believed, they've, they've always believed that this is a great value to them because oh, right. they need to do something to mm -hmm. make sure that, you know, the director doesn't get angry when he watches his movie on Netflix or Cinema Now or Roxio Now that, mm -hmm. or, or, or a Blu-ray disc that it's not wrong. Mm -hmm. The device manufacturers are saying, well, when there's enough content out there, yeah, we'll do it. So we're just we're just at that we're just at that, it's like that 3D. edge right now. It's three D all exactly, over. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. All over again. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's you know we are we have the momentum right now. Uh, we're up over twenty um, partners in this program right now between chip manufacturers who have endorsed the program, mm -hmm. uh, CE device manufacturers. Uh, we're showing the Sharp Elite and. Uh, uh, Epson projector. You're working with the smartphone manufacturers as well in order to integrate your software into THX into those. is giving some very strong consideration into the mobile mar market. We don't have any announcements to make yet, but let's just say it's a it's a natural progression for us to go there. But are you going to be a little too late in the game? No. It's already happening. It's already been happening. Yeah, people but I are think watching movies on their on their devices. They now. are, but the quality curve follows.